And Thursday will mark four years since 11 lives were lost in the Tree of Life Synagogue mass shooting. Today, people volunteered their time to clean up a cemetery and gardens in our area to remember the victims. KDK's Jessica Gway joins us live in Brentwood to share the importance of today's event. Hey, Jess. Hey, Erica. Yeah, volunteers came out here to Beth Abraham Cemetery to do some cleanup work. This was all in memory of Bernice and Sylvan Simon, who were killed when a gunman opened fire in the Tree of Life Synagogue back on October 27th, 2018. Repair the World Pittsburgh and the 1027 Healing Partnership organized several volunteer events like this throughout October, leading up to the fourth commemoration of the Tree of Life Synagogue mass shooting. 11 people were killed and several others injured. Today, volunteers joined the Jewish Cemetery Burial Association of Greater Pittsburgh to clean monuments, trim ivy, and rake leaves here at Beth Abraham Cemetery. This is in Brentwood. This cleanup was planned in partnership with Mark Simon, the son of Bernice and Sylvan Simon. JCB's executive director, Barry Rudell, says it was heartwarming to see people dedicate their time to beautify Jewish cemeteries. Well, the Simons are so committed to uh, the memory of all of the victims. And uh, it's a privilege to be a part of their effort. Mark Simon is dedicated to the Washington Cemetery, and that's one of the reasons that uh, he extended their day of service for here at Beth Abraham. There were, sev there were several other uh, commemorative days of service events that happened today. Volunteers did some gardening over at Sheridan Ave Orchard and Grounded Tranquility Garden. And we're told that there will be another gardening service event. That'll be back at Sheridan Ave Orchard on Tuesday night. Live in Brentwood, Jessica Gway, KDKA News.